Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this really cool cable from IASG. Now this is a USB charge cable for the iPhone and the iPad and you can see it's got quite a chunky connector. I have to admit I'm not a huge fan of the chunky connector but I do like what this cable does. Now with the lights on you can't really see very easily so let me plug it into an iPhone and then show you exactly what it does. I'm going to turn off the lights and you'll be able to see the cable in action. Now with just my video lights off you can already see it but let me turn off the main light as well so you can really see it in its full glory. And there you go, how cool is that? It basically flows through as if the power is flowing from your power bank or your wall charger, whatever it's plugged into, into your phone or your iPad. And this is an MFI certified cable, Apple certified. So it does have the genuine chip inside and it's not gonna get blocked. And this thing looks really cool. I think the camera doesn't really do it justice. When you see it in person, it's kind of mesmerizing. Um, it's very, very cool. But let me put the lights back on and actually talk a little bit closer about this. Now, I don't think many people could argue against how cool this is. It really is quite a nifty cable, but there is some downside to having this cable. For a start, it wastes a little bit of power. If I plug it into my USB watt meter, you'll be able to see. So I've now got it plugged into the watt meter, but nothing connected on the other end. And you can see it's consuming around half a watt. So there is some power wastage, which means if you're using it with a power bank, a portable power bank, you probably wouldn't want to use this cable because you are wasting a little bit of power. But if you're plugged into a household socket, I think you won't mind that extra half a watt considering how cool the effect is, especially at night. Now I've also tested this on the iPhone and the iPad and measured how much current can pass because they say it's able to output high current. And sure enough, on the iPhone, it's able to output around five watts, which is expected. And when I plug it into the iPad, I get 10 watts, two amps. So it is capable of fast charging the iPad at two amp. Um, in fact, it actually uses a little bit more power because like I said, the light consumes around half a watt. Um, not a huge amount of power, but something you need to be wary of if you're using power banks. So this was just a quick video to show you this cable. I'm really happy with it. It's a little bit, you know, something that's a little bit different. When you take this out and your friends see it, everyone loves it. Um, it's just, you know, a nice little crowd pleaser and it looks good in the bedroom. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.